But first at noon, the Pinpoint Weather Team is mobilized as Thanksgiving travel could see some bumps in the road. Right now we want to show you a live look over Providence from our sky cam. Shows the uh, rainy mess out there. Could be some trouble for both airline passengers and road travelers. I'm going to see reporter Sean Daly. will join us live from TF Green Airport in a minute. But first we begin with meteorologist Michelle Muscatello in the live Pinpoint Doppler 12 forecast center. Michelle? Well, Patrick and Danielle, the heaviest and steadiest of the rain has moved out. We do have some lingering lighter showers that we'll be tracking for this afternoon. And then we're sort of moving into phase two of this storm, and that's the winds that'll be picking up throughout the course of the afternoon hours. There's our radar sweep. Things have actually quieted down at the moment across much of Rhode Island. You see those scattered lighter showers across Connecticut heading our way, and steady rain still in parts of the Cape. Meanwhile, the snow that's been falling uh, over northern New England also starting to wind down in parts of Vermont to New Hampshire, but we'll keep the risk of additional showers in the forecast all across our area through at least mid-afternoon. About 43 for your temperature right now in Smithfield. It's been cooling down. Providence is at 45, and the winds again out of the uh, north at about uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour with higher gusts. A lot of details to get to. My full future cast is coming up. All right, uh, thanks, Michelle. Millions of people, of course, be on the roads and taking flight for the holiday. And if you're heading out around New England, you might be prepared for the possibility of a delay out there. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is live now with TF Green with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. How's it looking, Sean? Okay, Danielle and Patrick, here we are at Green Airport with the annual Thanksgiving holiday travel story. You know, delays, frustrations, difficulties, all that stuff, right? Guess what we found instead? Check it out. It's pictures like this one that set hearts all a flutter here at Green Airport this morning. Airplanes carrying loved ones for Thanksgiving arriving more or less on time. Happiness is in the atmosphere here today. Oh, it's great to be home. I missed him a lot. You got Tim. Huh? You got Tim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you think there was this much love? No, not at all. <laughs> what is it about Thanksgiving that gets people so mushy? Mushy, I think it's a time that um, everyone comes together. It's not as stressful as, say, Christmas, um, and it's, it's simple. It's simple. You just take a moment and pause and realize what you're grateful for and how important family and friends are, and it just gives you that warm feeling. It's more than worth it. Meaning what? Meaning you can't put a price on it. It's the payoff of getting to see my children is priceless. Tell me about coming home for Thanksgiving. Oh, it's so good to be home. I was hoping he was going to pick me up, so I've missed everybody, and it's really good to be back. Is there something just warm and fuzzy about Thanksgiving? There is. I think being with everybody that you don't get to see, you know, all the time is the best part. Because that's what it's about, spending time with family. So not all the news is bad. No, no. Occasionally. No. Yes, there are happy times. <laughs> so in a world of recession, with foreclosures and unemployment, Sometimes it's just the little things, hanging out with the people we love. Live at Green Airport with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. All right, Sean, thank you for that. And to help you stay safe, if you are going out on the roads today, you can check the WPRI.com Holiday Travel Resource Guide. Also, our flight tracker can help you find out if your flights home and back are running on time. There's also DOT updates on the highways and other travel tips. You can link to all that from the homepage at WPRI.com.